myself to hold my hand Standing in the shadows of where we have been Sleeping with your back against me I know, I know, I know this isn't us Baby, pull me closer, let's fall in love What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. First off, I just wanna thank you all for being so patient with me during this time. I know it's been a few weeks since I last shared some good cleaning motivation and I just appreciate all of you who have reached out just to make sure I was okay and to check in. A lot has happened over the last couple of weeks and I promise to share a little insight into why I took some time off later in today's video, but I am really excited to get back into my routine and provide you all with tons of cleaning motivation. Today we are tackling an extreme kitchen deep clean because I not only took time off from social media, but I also took some time off from my deep cleaning routines. So there will be a ton of cleaning motivation coming up in the next few weeks. I plan on doing a lot of the basic tasks like dishes, wiping off the counters, sweeping the floors, but I'm also gonna clean out and declutter our spice cabinet. A lot of times when like a room or space needs to be decluttered, I get very overwhelmed because like our kitchen, there are just so many cupboards that need to be cleaned out that I just don't have the motivation to tackle it all at once. So what I like to do is just clean one or two cupboards at a time. So I'm still checking things off my list, but not stressing myself out. But now that I put away all the clean dishes from the dishwasher, I went ahead and loaded it back up with dirty dishes just so I could get it started while I tackle other tasks. There are quite a few dishes that need to be washed by hand, so I'm gonna go ahead and get those taken care of just so that I don't have to do it later on. And while we tackle the dishes, I will share why I took a break from social media. 
So as most of you probably know, besides running a YouTube channel, I also work full time and we're also in the process of planning a wedding and also trying to figure out our living situation because our lease will be up soon. And with everything going on in the world, Marshall and I basically put a halt on wedding planning just really until we could determine if we were even able to have our July wedding. Once the governor extended the stay at home order again, we decided just because we have planned and paid for such a large wedding that there was really only one option and that was to reschedule until next summer just for the safety of our family and friends. And we reached out to all of our vendors and they were really accommodating except for our venue. They were unwilling to work with us and basically required the entire full mount all over again if we wanted to reschedule until next summer. It didn't help that I was extremely busy with my job during the day and then dealing with all of this wedding drama at night. I do want to add, please know that I'm not sharing every single detail with you guys of what went on, but just trying to give you a little insight as to why I needed a break from social media. Please know that it was very stressful and overwhelming. Marshall and I have no other choice but to continue on with our wedding this summer, so we are just hoping and praying things get much better by then. I ask that if any of you choose to comment on this, to really only leave something positive. If you leave a rude comment on this topic, whether it's intentional or not, And if I find it unnecessary, the comment will be deleted and you will be blocked. I know everyone has their own opinions, but please be respectful. degrees it's making me hot and he has the same effect on me it's just something about the way that he's making me feel my insides are out i just want to shout his name oh, my body's giving up on me because i don't know what to do with my fingertips oh, i want to run him through his hair but i'm trying not to stare Mm-mm. i get a little starstruck when i see
Now that all of the dishes are washed, dried, and put away, we can go ahead and start cleaning out this spice cabinet. I also keep things like flour, sugar, and oil, so my plan in here is to really just take everything off the bottom shelf, wipe it all down, go through your expiration dates, and then sort everything just to make it easier to grab and see. And then for the top two shelves, I'm not going to take everything out, but just going to kind of reorganize it to make things better accessible. Making me hot, and he has the same effect on me. I act a little dumber when I try to get his number up, so never said I'm losing grip. All right, so I don't know why I thought this was such a good idea, but I decided to organize everything beforehand and then just try to lift the shelf into the cupboard. Needless to say, that was not a good idea and I do not recommend. I suggest putting the shelf in first and then adding in your spices. After going through all of our spices, our counters desperately needed to be wiped off. I'm so happy that I finally used up one of my Mrs. Meyers sprays so that is one less bottle that I have to store under my sink.
Another task that I want to check off my list is to really sweep and mop because this hasn't been done in over a week. You can just see how many like crumbs have accumulated. So I am very happy I am taking the time to do this. I usually sweep and mop every evening as part of my nighttime cleaning routine, but nothing has been normal the last few weeks. So getting back into a routine is much needed. taking out the trash to complete this kitchen clean with me. I really hope you all enjoyed this and it gave you a ton of cleaning motivation. Again, I really just want to thank you all for being patient with me during this time. I am very busy and trying to juggle it all, so bear with me. Before you leave, please remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and also come say hi in the comments. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye!